Okay, this is, uh, I'm not gonna make this video too long. I was telling some people on a computer I sold a while back that, you know, every once in a while, a computer that doesn't support Windows 11 will give you the option still to upgrade to Windows 11. And people I talk to, you know, in the, in the circle I go, you know, that I'm with that, you know, reselling parts, people that I buy parts from, said I get that a lot. I just haven't been a you know haven't like recorded the proof of it but here you go you can see you know like clearly and i'm i'm using a capture card to capture this right the little cheap seven dollar one but you can see here this is an i5 7400 from intel the minimum is like it would need to be like a 8400 it needs to be an hn cpu or newer to support natively windows 11 right this is a 7th gen and i have gotten this on like 6th gen cpus too so you can see here it is an i7 um, 7400 8 gigs of ram one terabyte hard drive obviously wi-fi bluetooth on it and then it's running intel HD graphics 630 okay and you can clearly see right here normally this would say this computer does not support Windows 11 you can't upgrade to Windows 11 as this computer sets right now or something like that and you can see it says Windows it says uh, Windows updates Windows 11 version 22 H2 is ready and it's free get the latest version of windows uh -huh. download and install stay on windows 10 for now so it's telling me i can download in and install windows 11 on a non-supported machine so they're there's my proof to all the people telling me that I, you know, that no way I ever got this proc coming up. You know, like I, I, I would get this and I wouldn't even notice, you know, like I'd, I'd upgrade to Windows 11 and I'd sell that computer off as a system with Windows 11 on it. And then I'd think about it, I'd be like, this is a 6th gen CPU. Why did it let me upgrade to Windows 11? And then later on, it gives you a warning saying that you can't add these new features because your system doesn't support Windows 11. But you're the one who told me to upgrade to Windows 11. It's like this machine here is only a 7th gen CPU. It's not on the supported list for Windows 11. But you could clearly see here it is telling me to upgrade to Windows 11. Now... I guess I'm going to end this video here. I don't want to make this too long. But, you know, if you ever had this come up on a system that didn't support Windows 11, you know, leave that down in the comments below. And, you know, leave in your comment what CPU you actually had in the system. Okay, thank you for watching.